Well hi there guys and welcome to my channel. You may be wondering why I'm sitting in snow gear. Didn't you just move to Barcelona? I hear you say. Well yes, I did. But after my ski trip in Spain last year, I decided I would do another one this year. So I bought this jacket. But then around the time of my first ski trip, they closed the Comarcas. And then around the time of my second ski trip, they closed the municipalities. And so since my ski trips keep getting canceled, I put my long johns on. I decided it was time to edit my Pyrenees footage because there was snow there in September. This video took me a really long time to edit and it's 21 degrees today, so I'm kind of dying in my snow gear. So I really hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> This is just a quick sneak peek at one of the amazing places we went to, but first, check out our fully sick wheels. Our amazing car, Flutter, no spare. To give you an idea of what the weather was like, it was the end of September. So we left Barcelona, wound the windows down, enjoyed the fresh air, and headed for some rocks. We made our first stop here, and unlike our previous two road trips, nobody realized that they left their wallets at home after two hours of driving. Usually I find if you're having a rest stop, you should spend some time on your back, some time on a hill pretending to be Huck Finn, and then some of the time showing off your new haircut that you love because they blow dried it so nicely for you. After a couple more hours of driving, we arrived in Bon Aigua, I think it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, probably wrong on the pronunciation. That there is a quince tree that Daniel decided to pick. And then the quince tree owner saw him, so a little bit awkward. I don't understand why yellow walls are such a prominent feature in Spain, but this was actually one of my favorite places we stayed. It was so cozy and warm. It's so cold. It always snows on our road trips. And our host gave us amazing recommendations and pretty much wrote an itinerary for our next two days. Show me. So something you really need to know about Daniel is that he's really into foraging. And when we were there, he picked these berries and then made rosehip tea. And I was convinced that the tea was going to be poisonous. So I made him drink the tea first. Turns out it wasn't poisonous and it was delicious. But yeah, I definitely spent my first night away scared that I was going to be poisoned by tea. So this is the first piece of evidence that I cannot walk downhill in hiking boots. I don't know what it is with hiking boots, but I really struggle with this basic movement. Is it just me or are there other people out there who can't walk downhill in hiking boots? Let me know in the comments. Ready? I'm about to tell you where we are and it's in Catalan, so I have no idea how to pronounce any of it. Parque Nacional de Ayas Tortes y Estani de Sant Marisi. I'm sure I didn't pronounce it correctly, but this is a place that a lot of people recommended I went and it was so beautiful. I'd highly recommend it because it's actually not a really difficult hike, so even if you're not really into hiking, you could definitely do it and it was really secluded while I was there. While we're looking at this view, we actually met two really nice Catalan cyclists as well who kind of asked us to do a photo shoot for them and it was really cute. They were probably about my dad's age and they were super fit. At the end of the walk, we decided to just let him go in the water because he wasn't really taking no for an answer anymore. 
so beautiful here. Like it's actually so beautiful. Northern Spain. Chef's kiss. Buenísimo. After leaving there, we decided to go on one of the roads that our host had recommended because she said the views were amazing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the views are amazing, but I am terrified of heights and this road was so, so, so narrow. Daniel wanted me to speed up this clip so that you guys knew he was capable of driving faster than this. I, if we're really honest, he's not, and that's why I made him drive at this pace. But the views were actually spectacular and despite being not terrified of heights but not loving them, I'm very glad that we actually went along this road. I'd love to say that we stopped here for the view but I'm pretty sure we just stopped here for my nerves. That being said, it was the kind of road that had a lot of amazing stop off points for nerve breaks. God, that, is that going to be a really bad road to drive down when it's dark? Scared of heights, but always goes to mountain locations. Then it was time to keep going up the mountain and see some snow. I hope you enjoyed this short film that I made of Chapo. I think it's important to mention guys that this apple did not come from a supermarket but is another one of Daniel's hauls. Don't worry guys, we do actually have money to buy food. It's just really a like hobby of his. Also while we're here, we saw a dead mole. We also saw this amazing view but I think the dead mole is more important to mention here. If anyone knows where I could see a live mole in Spain, that would be great. I'm kind of getting sick of being the only one who only sees dead wildlife here. This is like my third big animal that I've missed or only seen the dead version of, so. And by big, I mean big deal, like a big deal to me because I haven't seen it before. It's not big, I know moles are small. <laughs> this town was called but I remember someone told me to go there and that's why we did a pit stop there but from what I could find it's just a bougie town is it just a bougie town for people who are going skiing or is there like something else to do here someone let me know please be Spain if you didn't see cows on the side of the road. Also, can we all just admire how beautiful this is? I know there are some marks on the windscreen, but aside from that, it's so beautiful. It was such an amazing road trip. Northern Spain never ceases to impress me. And yeah, I'm gonna call the north of Catalonia Northern Spain from now on. I know I didn't include it in my other video, but that's because I like to only talk about things that I know about and have been to. So yeah, keep it to yourself in the comments. So after that, we stopped in this town called Besalu in Garocha. So the next part of the trip was really based in Garocha. And this town was so cute. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we stopped here because most people recommended going there. It's a little medieval town and it's really charming. I'm sure outside of 2020 and even probably 2021, it would be really charming. It's kind of got a hippie vibe if you're into that kind of alternative side of things. I'd say Catalonia is the best place to find that as well. So I wanted to walk you through our little 
villa in Banyolas. I don't actually know what it is, but it was really cute. Uh, this is the bathroom. Uh, eventually I found the light switch. This is the living room and this is tomorrow. This back section, we actually had all of it to ourselves. It was amazing and the view was great. The family who ran it was so, so, so nice. It was just, it was so lovely. It was really, really nice to get out of the city. This was the breakfast that Dana made me one day. This is me pretending to be patiently waiting for my breakfast, but I remember I was so hungry and I just wanted him to say, I finished videoing. Then we got back in the car and headed off for another hike around a volcanic park whose name I cannot remember. This must have been like day four or day five of the trip and I was feeling wild when I took this shot. Even though the first hike we did, it was super cold, this thing was really hot. So I removed the audio so that you don't have to hear me panting up the hill. The lockdown took away all my fitness. Let's just say that. This is the view of one of the volcanoes and that's a little church inside one of the old extinct, very extinct volcanoes. We went down to the bottom of that and just chilled because I'm not joking, it was so hot. Capo chewed this vlog, it was like three times the size of him. I sat there being not sexy and awkward when I realized that Dana was taking a video of me. And then Chapo decided it was time to keep moving. So we got up to sweat some more. Here is a little bit more evidence that I can't walk downhill in hiking boots. There were actually 14 hikes in this park and it was really confusing because every time you got to a corner there were so many signs and it seemed like sometimes the hike we were on had signs in both directions so we're kind of like just blindly following it hoping we we're taking a 14 kilometer hike and not a longer hike because like I said it was pretty hot and we didn't have that much water but probably one of the most amazing parts of the hike for me was this beach forest and unfortunately the camera was out of focus for the entire section but I really wanted to show you anyway because the colors were beautiful and it was so dense and it was just super 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 I need to stop saying super on this video but it was super nice Europe I just had to laugh at the fact that there was a vending machine at the end of the hike. Guys, if you do a hike in Australia, do not expect this. Also, I have to apologize here because I took photos of the volcanic ash, but they're on my old frame, which I smashed, so I can't show you, sorry. The very next day, on our way to a lot, we stumbled across this town. No, I'm just kidding. We definitely plan to go here. It's rated number 16 on the most beautiful towns in Catalonia, which actually isn't that exceptional. Did you jump in the pool today? Did you? Chapo didn't really feel like staying very long, so we kept going. This is the parking lot with the lot in a lot. I'm sure there's a lot to see in a lot. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, yeah, what is this? Can someone explain to me? This isn't a thing special to Catalonia or anything, but uh, while we're looking at it, let's all discuss in the comments below what it is. I'm not really sure why, but it took us a while to work out what to do in a lot, but we finally found the hill walk up. So a lot is also in the volcanic area and is more or less surrounded by extinct volcanoes. So we walked up this one. Clearly I wasn't really dressed appropriately, but I just didn't feel like doing hiking stuff again. And we all know how good I am at walking in hiking boots. So pretty. We're on top of a volcano, clearly extinct. <laughs> And since this ends midway through a road trip, there's no ending. So this is Chapo the next day in the wind in the Costa Brava. Let me know if you want to see that too. Ciao. Like I said at the start of the video, guys, this video took me forever to make. So if you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, or share it with your grandma. And if you would like to see some of the stuff I did on the Costa Brava, let me know. I'm no expert, but... I've been a few places. Adios.